Meanwhile, as part of efforts to bring a drastic check on financial laundering offenders, the EFCC is said to partner with the media like never before. At a media workshop, the representative of the acting EFCC chairman insists it has become necessary for the public to be aware of the crime so as not to be victims. Plus, TV News correspondent Destiny Momo reports that the commission deems it fit to train the media on financial crime reportage in order to fight the crime to the barest minimum as the Commission is shifting focus from enforcement to crime prevention. of the, com the Commission to sponsor this workshop underscores the importance which it attaches to the role of the media in the fight against economic and financial crimes, including corruption. Without doubt, the media's ability to inform and sensitize the people on the ills of corruption and economic crimes is crucial to us. All over the world, the watchdog role of the media promotes transparent and accountable leadership. In the particular instance of the EFCC, media has proven to be a critical stakeholder and ally in the difficult task of sanitizing our environment. This partnership is functional and rewarding. We can only wish that the synergy gets stronger and stronger. The focus of the EFCC currently is shifting away from enforcement to prevention. Mm. Yeah. And in preventing financial and economic crime, we believe that the media represents a very critical ally. Okay. And that is why we are here today to share knowledge and see how the media can help us in preventing, especially money laundering. I will be surprised, or I will not be surprised, at even some of us here may not even have been aware that the activities of school yeah. Yeah. or the number of designated non-financial institutions that have reporting obligation to that agency. And the onus is now on us as journalists to inform the people so that people can be aware of the duty of these bodies. Speakers at the workshop gave an expose on financial crimes, investigative reporting and cybercrime. They informed that transactions from 5 million Naira and above should be reported to the Commission. The law requires that within seven days of doing any transaction, completion of any transaction with anybody that falls within this category, that is maybe the transaction you have done with the person, is over 5 million. Yes. It's over 10 million. You are required to report it to the NFI. That's why you need to get the particulars of those people dealing with business to their name, their address, possibly their phone number, so that you fill in the form and send it to the uh, to uh, to Because when you send it to us, our school department will analyze it and begin to follow up on that person. You are not reporting your customer. You are just complying with the law. A lot of things that are happening around us that the public is expecting journalists to update them about. In the Lagos environment, we just said it when our senior commander talked about investment scam running to more than three billion naira in the Lagos environment. Now, the so-called investment scam that is taking the money of everybody. Why is it that we have not taken time to investigate some of these investments? Now, we talk about Wonder Banks, we talk about uh, Wonder Investment, we talk about people that will just come to the public podium and send two means to the public. And people will be investing, they will be investing, they will be investing, only for them to, to find out that they have been sold in London. And there are journalists in town. And there are media professionals in town. Some of them are even are even investing in the same scam. Yes. <laughs> so when you look at this thing, you find out that we are just operating in the very, very, we are just operating in the sidelines. We are not going into the core. We are not going into the nitty-gritty of the profession. Cyber crime and um, how not to be a victim. Cybercrime is like I would like to say something as regards what the previous speakers had said. They keep talking about money laundering, money laundering. And my previous author said something about 
real estate, where do they get the money from? Somebody will just come up overnight and just say, oh, I'm into real estate. People will come and say, I have a car stand, I'm into car, lot. I sell lottery brands. You need to see that. Where is the money coming from? You will be surprised to know that most of the money is being funded from cyber The majority of the money that is being used in these businesses are being funded from cyber so that's why it's very, very important for business owners to register with Skomo and also report suspicious transactions. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.